Hi there, this is Brandon. I'm here today to show you my photography workflow. I'm a photographer and I have thousands of photos and I use a software program called Lightroom to organize my photos efficiently. So first of all today I'm going to show you my data management structure. So this structure shows how I store and organize my photographs. So first of all I will take my photos with my camera then I'll put them on my Mac. My Mac stores my Lightroom catalogs and my images from before Algonquin. Then also I store my images on a PC and I have that PC backed up with a one terabyte external hard drive. I've also taken courses, photography courses at St. Lawrence College in Kingston and I've put them on the images also on a thumb drive so they're easily accessible. I now have also have a three terabyte external hard drive which I use to back up my image files and to back up my computer using Time Machine. So next I'm going to show you my file naming conventions here. And this is how I organize my folders and files outside of Lightroom. So outside of Lightroom for my folders I use a convention and I write year, month, day, the identifiers in the chart above, and the location. So the identifiers PER I use for personal shoots, SCH school sh photos, TEST testing gear, and I also for clients I use the client's last name and first initial. Now to name the files, I usually leave the files for personal use the same as they come out of the camera, so DC8, DSC001, DSC002. For clients, I'll use this convention here, which is year, month, day, the client's last name, first initial, the number of which the photo was shot, and the file name. So I will show you in my external hard drive here an example of my convention. So I have year, month, day. SCH for school and it was shot in Ottawa and if you notice in here I still have I have the conventions the files I didn't change the name so DSC 0080 and now I will show you how I've got them organized in Lightroom so my folders in Lightroom I have organized here in the folders panel I have them organized by uh, the the number of sh the order of the shoot that it was taken. So the, our first shoot was DSLR checklist. So that's the first one. Second one was exposure guide, etc., etc. So I also do not change my uh, files in Lightroom. I leave them the same so they're easily found in and out of Lightroom. I will now show you the metadata panel. So if you notice here on the right, right here is the metadata panel. And in this panel, it shows information about each photo. So if you click on a photo, and it will show rating, the time it was uh, taken, um, the exposure information, so shutter speed, aperture, ISO, etc. And also it has the cop copyright information which you can add you don't have to but you can and let me show you what I have Lightroom allows me to add copyright information to any of my photos when I import them so I've wrote all rights reserved no reproduction without permission now also Lightroom allows you to set presets when you import your images so I will go down here to import and if I go down to the bottom here and click on my preset. So basically this allows me to whenever I import photos I import them exactly using the same settings each time. So I'll go up here to the left and I'll click on the sort source so if I use a camera I will select my camera, memory card, my memory card and then I will also I also like to have them in ex imported into the same photo or folder so I put all the DNG files in the school images folder and then also have a, another folder to back up the original files. 
And also, this preset allows me to use the same copyright information. So now I'm going to show you my image rating system. So Lightroom allows you to organize your photos and label them using flags, stars, and colors. So for my flags, I, if I have no flags, it means awaiting first review. If I have a black flag, it means no good to be removed in trash. And if I have a white flag, it means okay and it's good to keep in the catalog. For my stars, if I have no stars, it's not yet reviewed. One star is poor. Two stars is okay. Three is good. Four is great and I should print it. Five is excellent and I should consider using it in a portfolio. Now for the colors. If I have no color, it means I haven't done anything to it. Red, it needs to be edited. Yellow, partially edited. Green, done editing. Blue, use, used in a portfolio or series. And purple is printed. So I will show you in Lightroom my image rating system. So if you notice on the top left of the thumbnail here, I have a white flag. That means that this photo is good. So all these photos in this file here are good and I will show you a black flag. So up here on this thumbnail here is a black flag. So this photo I will later on move into the trash. And if you also notice under some of these thumbnails they have stars. So this stars is my rating system. So this photo's got three, this one has five, so I could consider it in a portfolio for example. And none of these, none of my thumbnails have colors. That is because I haven't started editing any of these, these yet, so I have no use yet for the colors. But later, I will. And now I'm going to show you my collections. So if you notice, over here on the left, above the folder panel, or sorry, underneath the folder panel, is the collection panel. And right now I have two collections. The first one is just a regular collection, and I've named it Portfolio, so I have all my images with five stars in them. So whenever I need to create a portfolio, I can always look in here and find uh, photos that I can use for a portfolio. This portfolio, I have to manly, manually drag them into this uh, folder. The other, fo the other collection I have is called a smart collection. Basically, it's a collection that uses a similar preset to organize your photos, and it'll automatically, as you add your presets, import your images, they'll automatically go into your collection. So I've named this collection my print-worthy photos, and it is photos for and five stars. So I have all the photos in here that I could print or use in my portfolio. And it'll automatically come in here as I rate my photos in Lightroom. And lastly, I will show you my keywords. So if you look over here on the right, I have a keyword list. So right here, these two sections here are what are I call what is called keyword hierarchies. And basically they are folders that contain a bunch of keywords. So I have locations, so all my locations and subject matter. So keywords is extremely handy in Lightroom, especially if you have a large amount of photos, to search really quick, quickly search for your photos. So if I go over here and I'll click on the, in, under the catalog panel, all my photos, and I'll go up here to the library filter bar, go to text, and I'll go over here and make sure it's on keywords, and I will type in a keyword, and Lightroom will find it for me. So let's say I want to search car. So we'll put in car. So now all my photos that I've tagged the keyword car into, car, and I can search for car. If I want to do a location, let's say garden, type in garden, and all the photos that I've taken in the garden appear. So I thank you for watching my video on my photography workflow. I hope I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.